Go ahead and ask him for more speed. I'll tell you when you get there. Yeah, and then just try to keep your arms somewhat still and just kind of level with the horn, not above the horn. That's good. Now just keep that speed all the way around. Now he's getting a little bit slower. That's good. As you make your, you know, turns around the corner, just think of bringing your right shoulder back a little bit towards his tail so you kind of bend with him. But that's good. A little bit faster. I lied. It was good. And then he said, she said, it's good. We can slow down. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Oh, so that's your flat walk. He's starting to slow down a little. There you go. That's good. And then just keep the arms still so you're not pumping at all and sit just a little more on your seat pockets. Yeah. With him, especially since he's on the trotty side, we don't want to get tilted forward. Right. If we tilt and then the steep footing, all of it can make him trotty. Whoops, a little bit faster. A little bit more. If he's not going, kind of start bumping him so he doesn't ignore you. And then a little bit lower hand. There you go. Good. Yep, keep a little bend in your elbow. That's it. And then he did slow down, so a tiny bit faster once you get across. This is her running walk. Yep, there his head started to come up. If it went higher, you just want to hold pressure, but push with your leg at the same time to kind of push him up into the bridle. That's it. Now that's good, but don't go any faster. He's kind of on the edge of changing gates. Yep, lower your hands a little bit and then just keep those arms still. And then once you can get the heel down, try to push it back down again. If he won't go, then again, just bump him with your leg. Are you tired? Oh, he got a little slow right there. You were perfect before that. Yeah, just keep the arms as still as you can and a tiny bit more speed. So just a little bit more leg. Now, as you're going, if it looks like his head's going side to side, keep a little bit more contact. We want his head to go up and down, but we don't want it side to side. So to do that, we just hold him just a little. A little bit faster. That's good. Really nice. Yeah, just keep going. Yeah, if you can, go a couple more times around before we break. If you can't make it, then, of course, stop when you're tired. He did get a little slower. Yeah, and then lower the hand. Keep a little bend in your elbow. No, sweet. There you go. Oh, <laughs> lower your hands. That's it. And then just bump him with the leg. Try to lower the hand a little more. That's better. And then he's kind of back to his flat walk. Yeah, so you want to push but hold him straight and not let his head go side to side. And we still want a tiny bit more speed for his running walk. Lower your hand. Keep a little bend in the elbow. 
Keep sitting back. If you get tired, you can kind of push with your seat a little bit. That's much better speed. Keep going. Go one more time around. Keep going. Don't let them stop to go to the bathroom. Good job.